So this is a problem which you must know how to solve. Given that a plus b equals 1, a squared plus b squared equals 2, we need to find three things. a to the fourth plus b to the fourth, a cubed plus b cubed, a to the sixth plus b to the sixth. And in this video, we're going to go over a to the fourth plus b to the fourth. But before we get into that, we have two identities up here that are very important because they're going to help a lot. So the top one says a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And the bottom one says a plus b cubed is equal to a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed, which can be simplified to the final form on the right, a cubed plus b cubed plus 3ab times a plus b. And all of this can be verified if you just expand. I'm not going to go over that in this video, but maybe in another one. So now let's get into the problem. If a plus b equals 1, a squared plus b squared equals 2, let's find a to the fourth plus b to the fourth. Now I said this problem was going to use many important ideas, and here's the first one. You need to get what you need. Okay? Get what you need. So what do we need? Now don't say we need the answer, because I know we need the answer, but that's not what I meant. So here's what I mean. What we really need is an a to the fourth term and a b to the fourth term. Unfortunately, right now, we don't really have those. We only have a to the first power and a to the second power. So we need to somehow get a fourth power involved. So how can we do that? Well, there's two main ways. You can either raise this equation to the fourth power or you can square this one. Now raising the first equation to the fourth power is actually going to be kind of a mess, so we're going to stick to squaring the second one. So a squared plus b squared squared. Okay? Now if we compare this with the top identity, I probably should have used something other than a and b. I apologize for that. But basically, all it's saying is first, we need to square the first term. So that's the first term squared. Then we need to add twice the product of each term in the parentheses. And then finally, we need to square b squared. Now the right side is a to the fourth plus 2a squared b squared plus b to the fourth. And the left side is just the squared of 2, which is 4. And I'm just going to rearrange things a little bit. We're going to group a to the fourth plus b to the fourth together, because that's what we're trying to find. And 2 times a squared b squared is the same as 2 times the squared of a, b. So we're almost done. We know this is what we're trying to find. If we can somehow find a, b, then we'll be done. 
So what's AB? Now at this point, you might feel like we've run into a wall. We can't really do much because we don't know what AB is. So here's the second very important idea I want you to get from this problem. Whenever you're stuck, try to use what you haven't used already. So what do I mean by that? Well, we were given two equations. We used this one, but we haven't really done anything with that one. So let's try to use a plus b equals 1 to help us find a, b. So if we squared a plus b, the identity on the top says that's just a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. I kind of switched the order around a little bit, but it's still the same thing. So the left side, a plus b is equal to 1. 1 squared, that's still 1. a squared plus b squared is actually 2. And then we have a 2ab at the end. Okay, this is good, because now we can find 2ab. I'm going to move the 2 to the other side and divide by 2, and in the end, we'll find that ab is equal to negative 1 over 2. Now, this is good, because we're going to take this and put it back in here. So remember, 4, there's still 4 on the left side. I probably should have written that there too. Okay, 4 is equal to a to the 4th plus b to the 4th, what we're trying to find, plus 2 times ab, which is negative 1 over 2, squared. So 4 is equal to a to the 4th plus b to the 4th plus 2 times negative 1 over 2 squared is actually positive 1 over 4. Two and the four have a common factor of two. So four is equal to a to the fourth plus b to the fourth plus one over two. If you move one over two to the other side, you'll find that our final answer, a to the fourth plus b to the fourth, is equal to four minus one over two which is 7 over 2. And notice how in this problem, we were able to get what we wanted without actually finding the value of A or B. Because guess what? We don't need to. All we want is A to the fourth plus B to the fourth. We don't actually need the values of either A or B. So that's pretty neat. Now that concludes part one, A to the fourth plus B to the fourth. We're gonna move on to A cubed plus B cubed, which is slightly trickier, but is still solvable. And I'm gonna show two solutions in the next video. So let's check it out.